I don't just look like fish. <laughs> change it's not just me listening to the sound of my own voice now I have him to listen to as well and so do you guys so him has a name <laughs> this is my husband Martin Orange and um, he has done one daily diary before um, but other than that he has and I had a YouTube channel but I'm too busy to keep it up yeah pretty much you may as well close it no don't close it um, you can have a look but it's called when she's not expecting I'll put anything we talk about links will be in the description box so we're going to start from the very, very, very beginning because I have had so many new subscribers lately and most of you probably wouldn't have a clue what our story is. Um, and at the end of this video as well, I'll be putting mm. the IVF diaries. Mm. I'll be putting the IVF diaries from our first cycle and so you can see how much we've changed for starters. Um, I had black hair in half of my first IVF diaries, which looks a bit weird and I was quite a bit fatter. Mm. I had more hair, but we've been married for five years now, so... I'm pretty sure you didn't have quite more a lot of You that. probably had more of this kind of hair, but not that hair. That's always been that fluffy. Um, yeah, so if you want to watch our first IVF Diaries, the links will be at the end, and if the annotations are not working, they will be down below. Alright, so... And they are kind of cruddy, because that was a long time ago. It was a really long time ago, and we didn't have um, a nice camera, and... We, it was our first time being in front of a camera as well, so we were probably a little bit anyway nervous, felt a bit weird talking to no one. Um, yeah, so we'll just get on with it. So, okay, so this vlog is literally just going to be updating all our new subscribers with our TTC history and um, what we've started now. So, um, we met, I'll give this to you since you know what you're talking about with this. You, you can give a brief history on how we met, etc. Met Nicole at school, high school, shipped at schools and then I went to a boys school and then I went to um, a co-ed school and I met Nicole and we went out and then I went milking cows after school and then we got married like 18 months after we started going out. No, we got engaged 18 months after we started going out. Oh yeah, then we got married, so like two and a half years or something. Two after years. That. And um, most important, we've been married for five years on the April the 26th, which was not long ago. So that's cool. cool. 2008 we got married, so we've been married five years now. Um, and not long after that we decided let's try to have some kids. But we already knew Nicole had polycystic ovaries. So we went to Fertility Associates, we had a meeting. Like, a, I saw it in the paper about infertility, like they were having a conference thing. And so we went to that, made an appointment, and we had our first appointment down in Wellington. Are you allowed to say that? Yes, you can say Wellington. Down in Wellington. We don't, we don't live in Wellington. So and we started having meetings with doctors then about fertility treatment. And I got my sperm tested, and it was fine. A grade. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. Anyway, I just knew he would not be able to get through this vlog without talking about his sperm. Hey, you haven't had your sperm tested in a few years. You didn't even know the quality may have gone way down. In fact, should we have been getting your sperm tested for this cycle? Mm, Probably. Will. I will get, I will get tested, won't it? Yeah, but it'll get tested on the day once we've already been, uh, once we've already paid for it all. Sorry. <laughs> arguing on camera. Oh, yeah, that's not an argument. <laughs> Alright, so. I don't see an argument, he's talking about the jet ski that we've been on. <sighs> Anyway, okay, so after our first appointment, after our first appointment in 2008, we went on Clomid, which is the general, if you have, an, an, oh, no, if you have ovulatory problems, generally Clomid fixes it for most women, uh, but for me it didn't. I, we did seven cycles of Clomid and one of them worked, the very first one I ovulated on cycle day 18, but I got mm. a BFN, which means big fat negative, I wasn't pregnant. Um, and so we went on to do a further six cycles and I didn't ovulate in any of them, which really sucked. Um, and at that stage, that was probably my lowest. I felt, that's when I probably felt really sad and upset about our whole fertility issue. Um, 
then in 2009, I think it was, we started Puragon Injections, which is mm. um, it just basically is the hormone which is normally in your body. And it did make me produce really good follicles. We did six cycles of that and two of them were cancelled. Which really sucks. Because then when I triplets. Yeah, so I produced too many follicles and they're happy with one or two, but I think at one of them I produced five. The doctor reckoned that if we had triplets, we'd sue them <laughs> yes. to pay for the nappies. And I had to, did we have the trigger? We didn't have the trigger injection because we were considering just doing it anyway, which is really naughty. But you know, you get kind of desperate when you're trying to have a baby. But and yeah, didn't we didn't want triplets though, no. Um, yeah, but on our very last Paragon But if you've got triplets, you rock. Yeah, you do. You're rock. a legend. <laughs> you want to put that in there? Yeah, okay. Um, our very last Paragon cycle, we did get pregnant and we were so excited and we I got a positive pregnancy test for three days. Mm -hmm. So we had three days of bliss thinking, yay, this has finally worked and we don't have to do IVF. And then it didn't happen like I got a really really heavy period so basically it was a chemical pregnancy um but yeah I so I wouldn't have even gotten to four weeks pregnant I think so um then we started where are you down there okay so in October 2010 we started long protocol IVF and it was successful which was awesome Yay. so um I got and set for Nicole getting sick yeah, I did get sick, I was getting to that, so. Sorry. 18, we got 18 eggs collected. No. Anyway, she had lots of eggs and it caused um, ovarian hyperstimulation. She was in hospital for eight days. She put 15 kilos of fluid on in one, like, in a 24 hour period. Yeah. We got um, 18 eggs and out of that we only got two blastocysts. Yeah. Um, uh, well, out, actually only out of the 18 we only got 10 embryos that survived and then out of the 10. Yeah. We got two that reached the blast five stage. day yeah whole blast and one was an extra day because she wanted to go yeah and that's the one that we just recently implanted but we'll get to that um yeah so at, basically after I got sick um we did a freeze all cycle because I got sick with IHSS and so you can't get pregnant with IHSS because then it apparently aggravates it more and I was sick so who wants to be pregnant when you're in hospital and then um. Yeah, in November we started our FET, our first frozen embryo transfer, and it was successful. Um, Roman was implanted, um, he was called Waffle at the time because he looked like a waffle. Um, yeah, so he, he was implanted at the mm. uh, no, 9th of December, I think. And then we found out we were pregnant only five days after that transfer, which was really awesome. Um, we did have threatened miscarriage scares and all that, and I got preeclampsia and hypertension, and it was a really... Really fun pregnancy, don't you think? What's Full of mean? drama and. I just stayed on the farm. You had to drive into town every day. Oh my gosh, we lived in the middle of nowhere, and I had to do a forty-five minute drive to the hospital and forty-five minute drive home every what twice a week for yeah, like four got or five weeks. In. Got snowed. Anyway, it was a really fun pregnancy. It was really. Full of drama. And now Roman is just so. And then. <laughs> and then. No, it's really he was born on the 6th of August 2011. And three weeks early. Yeah, he was three weeks early because I had to be induced because of the preeclampsia, etc. And um, yes, yeah, so he is now 21 months old. So getting on to our current journey, we started trying to conceive a month before Rowan turned one, I think. You wouldn't have a clue. He wouldn't have a clue of dates. Um, he's just in the vlog to look pretty. <laughs> Basically, I know all the information. About our current cycle. So we started trying to, trying to conceive baby number two um, a month before Roman turned one um, because miraculously I started having cycles after I finished breastfeeding. Um, Roman weaned himself at 10 months old. So I got a cycle and for 10 months <laughs> we tried to conceive baby number two. And my cycles got further and further and further apart until they were pretty much non-existent. And so we kind of thought, you know, this isn't happening. We need to do another FBT and use our second embryo called Pancake. You can tell we like our food because we named both of our children. But they look like waffles and pancakes. <laughs> they did like waffles and pancakes. And 
yeah so we did our FET we started that in March and if you've been following my journey you would know that we did get our second BFP so clearly I don't seem to have a problem getting pregnant with the help of fertility treatment or IVF or whatever so once everything comes together then I seem to get pregnant and everything's fine but um unfortunately we lost pancake at five weeks five days so just before I turned six weeks we miscarried and um that's we. I miscarried <laughs> well we did kind of miscarry emotion he emotionally miscarried with me and I physically and emotionally miscarried um, so that, that sucked, but we got over that pretty quickly, and here we are on our next cycle. Um, we went to the doctor, and he said that we had unexplained infertility as well, possibly, because I'm just not... Well, getting... not possibly. He said you do have okay, well, unexplained he said you infertility. Got unexplained infertility as well as anovulatory problems. That. He said some people, we can figure out what's wrong, and we know what's wrong, and they still get pregnant with IVF, but then there's nothing wrong, but they still don't get pregnant or something. So basically he was just like, we can't explain why you don't get pregnant naturally. Yeah. Or with the help of the drugs. Yeah. Like the Clomid. Yeah. Even when I ovulate. Because the Clomid worked. Even when I ovulate, I don't get pregnant, basically. Mm. That's basically the gist of it. And so he says that it's, you know, unexplained because there's no reason for me not getting pregnant when it's perfect timing and everything else. Um, so we are currently doing IVF again. Um, this time it's going to be short protocol, um, with Roman it was long protocol, so this time it's really fast, it only takes about four weeks. So hopefully I should find out if I'm pregnant right before my trip to Fiji, maybe I'll find out in Fiji, don't know. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at right now, um, I hope you guys can follow our journey because it's going to be really exciting. Did she mention Fiji? <laughs> I mention Fiji all the time because I just can't wait to go on holiday. Um, yeah, so we i'll explain everything in future videos but um right now we oh, i say we right now i am taking provera to bring on a bleed and then i call my clinic with my day one which is the day you wake up with your period so that is probably another week and a half away ish um yeah. i've been taking provera but it's just made me cry <laughs> it's so emotional really emotional I'm depressed so that's the start of our journey. If you guys would like to go all the way back to 2010 and watch our IVF journey to baby number one, I'll put the links at the end or below or wherever you'll find it. And um, yeah, so join us on the second journey. If there's anything you really want to see us film or any questions you have, leave them below or private message me or go on Facebook or do whatever, get in touch with me however you want to. And I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you've got a question for him, feel free to add them as well. If you've got some manly questions, or your husband's got some questions, whatever. Because mm. mm. he, mm. he'll do a great job at asking them, um, answering them in a manly way. Mm. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, our next video will probably be about... Maybe the unpacking the drugs. The drugs might possibly have arrived. Um, Something like that anyway. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you can watch our journey to baby number two. Bye. I'll just stand here and nod. <laughs> Probably a good idea to just sit here and nod. Right, how's the colour? Oh my gosh, I could have at least done something with your hair. I have, I've got sunglasses in. No, it was 18. No, it was 18. No, it, was it, was 18. No, it was 18. Do you want to even go back and look at the footage? It's 18 now. Yeah. But to hear if we look back in our diaries, I look completely different. You look exactly the same. I don't look the same. You do. I have more of a beard. No, you look exactly the same. You look. Because I am timeless. Considering I've got black hair and my other things. Pretty sure it's more than 18. It wasn't 18. I've even got it written down. So you just said it wasn't 18. It was 18. Yes, it wasn't. Do you want me to get the fifth pack around? Sure. <laughs> You're a dick. <sighs> no, I can't be serious. <laughs> what peace. is that? Peace. Peace. Peace out. Mm. Yeah, that could be like your outro.